Watch this experiment. It's called the McGurk effect. Ba, 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 ba. What do you think he's saying? If you think he's saying da, 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 you are in the grand majority. But now, close your eyes and listen instead of watching. Ba, 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 ba. The voice is saying ba, ba, ba. Now, let's replay it without the sound. Yes, it's true. His lips are saying ga, ga, ga. So how is it that when the lips are saying ga, 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 and the sound says ba, 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 that our brains read da, da, da? The McGurk effect. It's an example of an auditory illusion. It's a great way to show that the accurate perception of information can involve the participation of more than one sensory system, in this case, vision with sound. We call it multimodal perception. The McGurk effect, it's a terrific example of the fact that the senses did not evolve in isolation from each other, but actually work together to help us perceive our world. When multiple senses are stimulated simultaneously, the brain begins to experience an information-rich learning experience and laps it up like ice cream. It encodes more information per unit time, and it remembers that information better, too.